Hello everyone. I've always used clamps to hold down spoil boards. I never wanted the mess to put all those holes and slots in a 4x8 or 5x10 spoil board. Not to mention the time it takes. So uh, it, it, it always did work really well for me. But I did have some scary moments when that bit was headed right for a clamp and I had to uh, quickly slam on the emergency stop. My son said, hey dad, why don't we put a block under the spoil board and attach it with some Craig screws and we could clamp it to the rail of the table. So I said, hey, that's a pretty good idea. So we installed six of them, one in each corner and two in the middle. And we would push down on the top of the spoil board and then clamp and tighten the clamp. And it held it down for the shaving of the spoil board perfectly. So I thought we could make them even better by putting a spoil board hole and a slot in them like the ones on the CNC router part spoil board file. That way we could use the six clamps for other projects because they say you can't have too many clamps I guess. So uh, they attach to the table very easily and suck the spoil board down to the table. We came to the determination that the hole down hole was a bit overkill and a bit sloppy. We didn't need the extra room you would need to find the hole in the T-nuts. So we did a couple of revisions. We used a 3 quarter inch countersunk hole and a through hole the size of the bolt in the middle of that. Stug, and basically we threaded the wood to drive it in. We didn't think we wanted that hassle so we opened up the hole to a .32 inch opening. So it took three tries, but I guess the ends justify the means. We used a two inch round over on the bottom corners to make it look and feel a little better. And we put the center through hole at 0.95 inches from the bottom of the clamp. I'll put the Vetric files on the server for those who want to give it a try. You can make as many of them as you think you need for the hold downs. You can see how it turned out. It, you see it here without the Craig holes in it. The 3.25 inch width is the same size as a Craig jig, so it's very easy to line it up with the Craig jig and just drive the two outside holes or drill the two outside holes. As you can see, the screw in this version moves in and out with just a small amount of friction. It's very nice while attaching to the T-nut. You can make them one at a time in about a minute and then 20 seconds or eat, do eight at a time. Here you can see my son installing the bracket under the table and as you can see it goes pretty quickly. I hope you can use this idea to make things a bit easier and safer for yourself. Feel free to send me some of the pics of the ones you create. I'd love to see them.